Why hello there, Anxious Cynic back again, continuing our beginner's guide series in Minimator. So if you remember the last part, we showed how to use the camera and we covered most of these settings and how you can use them and all this good stuff about doing the cinematography for your animation. So what I'm gonna be covering today is how to use multiple cameras for your animation. Sometimes there's a need for this, sometimes there's not. I've gotten to where I only use one, but if you watch my old beginner's guide, I showed how to use two because of a certain little glitch that I was aware of, but it doesn't seem that that's an issue anymore. But let's just say you wanted to have two cameras or more for some particular reason. So what we can do, we've already got this shot set up, if you recall, from our, our first tutorial. We actually actually got rid of most of the keyframes. But anyway, so we're going to go over here. We're going to create a new camera. And bada bing, bada boom, we got two cameras. I'm just going to go ahead and name them. I'm going to call this one camera B. And we're going to call this one camera A. So we have camera A and camera B just so we can stay organized. And I'm gonna select camera B. And as you can see here, we have selected camera and camera B is in parentheses. So I'm gonna take camera B, let's say we wanna move it to, uh, maybe we'll be looking through some glass here at Steve over there. Just gonna have this one zoom in a bit. We're gonna have a kind of a cool little shot there. And uh, yeah, we could do this with instant keyframe transitions just like we showed in the first tutorial. But let's just say for some reason we wanted to get all artsy fartsy and uh, have some fun with this stuff. So I'm gonna get some depth of field. I'm gonna drag this out, get Steve's area into focus there. It looks like it's okay to me. And now we have these two cameras. So the problem is, as you can see here, we have active camera, camera B and Basically what that means is whatever camera is the active camera, that's what Minimator is going to be rendering with. And when we select camera A, you see selected camera. When we select camera B, that's selected camera, camera B. But when we don't have either of them selected, it's active camera. So whatever's the active camera, that's what Minimator is gonna use. And I don't remember exactly what it is. I think it's the most recent camera that has been spawned into the scene is what becomes the active camera. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure. But basically what we're gonna do, if we wanna switch between these, so let's say we want this to happen right around here, frame 70. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and hit play. And as you can see, I mean, let me uh, deselect that, there we go. So active camera, camera B, and we're just gonna see the whole scene from there. But what if we want to have this one we're gonna go ahead and pan it, maybe back it up a bit. So what we want to see is it goes from this one and then cuts to the other shot, right? So all we have to do here to make that happen, you'll see that this is our keyframe that ends that shot for camera A. I'm just gonna to toggle visible. I'm just gonna turn that off just like that. And then on camera B, I'm gonna create a new keyframe at the beginning here. And I'm gonna say you're invisible at this point. So now when I deselect that, you'll see the active camera is camera A and then active camera is camera B. So it changes it because we said that that camera is no longer visible. So when we watch our shot, we're gonna play this one, cuts, and there's Steve walking. And then we can even, let's go ahead and create a new keyframe here. Let's say we wanna go ahead and have this one become visible again. We're gonna to toggle that, create another one for camera B. Say so you're invisible at this point, bro. And then we're gonna drag this over to here and we'll just have Steve kind of walk into frame. Let's go ahead and highlight that real quick and we'll bring this up. And he's gonna come up and stop. And we'll say we want that dramatic hero shot on his beautiful, beautiful face. All right, so let's go ahead and get the depth of field set up there. I guess that was okay. All right, so then we can save that and bada bing, bada boom. Let's go ahead and deselect everything so you can see that the active camera is set up for us here. We're gonna hit play, cuts. And then back and Steve walks up all dramatic. So that's how you can use two cameras or more in your scene. You just toggle the visibility and kind of overlap their keyframes like that so that you get things the way you want to. And then you can make any kind of cuts that you desire. And also just remember here, as you can see, I'm scrubbing through here and it's not changing. Don't be alarmed. It's selected camera. So make sure you don't have any camera selected and then you'll see what Minimator will actually be rendering. All right, so hopefully that was helpful, guys. Hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.